Hey everyone, it's Paul from Alexander Knife Sharpening. So, I want to give you guys an update on the uh, vent fume hood I made for myself. Uh, I did order the one from Laser Pecker, but uh, as we all know, that could be a while before we get those. Um, but I know some of you are dealing with fume issues. And since doing this, this has solved all of my fume problems. I get absolutely... Um, zero smells in here from uh, the stuff I'm lasering and if I do wood which creates quite a bit of smoke uh, it just takes it all out uh, and it wasn't uh, ex was not that expensive to do uh, I'm gonna say total parts here is probably about $75 maybe in total so I got these uh, shoe boxes from Costco they're hard plastic and all I did with it was I cut a hole in the back and this is a, a PVC uh, vent hose they um, you can get these on Amazon and I have a real long piece there as you can see is running out the shop and then what I added here is an inline exhaust fan. And if you get a non-variable speed one, they're really not very expensive. This was uh, $25 for this one. I'll put a link into it. Now, the, the worst part where it got like pricey a little bit building this was I had to get uh, a four inch piece of PVC uh, dust vent hose for this fan because I wanted a powerful fan. And they don't make uh, two and a half inch fans uh, and it just wouldn't be powerful enough if it was, uh, you can get two inch fans, but I wanted something stronger. The two inch fans look a little bit like computer fans and they're just not that strong. They don't have that much draw. But this four-inch vent fan has a, a is much stronger. Uh, it's it's really quiet. Uh, I I don't really hear it running at all, but it really does a great job of getting everything out. And then I run mine straight out my garage door. I'll show you what I did here. I just built. I was lucky. I have a pet door in there, and then I just put an enclosure around it and. I just run the hose straight outside. So that's all I do. I just run that right outside. Uh, you know, you could do a window type of uh, fixture if you wanted. You could use a dryer vent uh, type of exhaust thing. I already have one for my air conditioner on this side of the shop. Uh, so I, I, that's the reason I'm really running it out the, uh, the shop door that way. Um, but it's nice. I can shut the door when I got the air running. It's a beautiful day. That's why I got the door open today. But this has been a drastic improvement. I will leave uh, links to the motor and the PVC pipe. The Like I said, the worst part was I had to buy couplings uh, to go from 4 inch to back to the 2.5 inch. Uh, I didn't want to run a big, I, I could have run this as uh, all um, four inch. I could have done that. And I could have put a four inch hole in this box. Um, and, you know, the, you could probably, you could do that. There's no reason why you couldn't. Uh, I cut this with a uh, just a hole saw that you would use for making holes. And I was able to just literally... Uh, screw this right into here and then I used some uh, quick drying UV epoxy uh, but you could use any kind of glue to just kind of glue that in and get a nice seal in there and then I did this in pieces so that it could be disconnected so it's just a one small piece coming off of this box uh, that way when my other one from laser pecker comes in I'm still probably going to convert it to using this big fan uh, and I want to be able to use the, all of these parts again. But that's it. I uh, just wanted to show you that. So there's one coupling uh, here. And then I'm running uh, four inch directly into the fan. I have a four inch coupling on the outside there 
because uh, I'm going back to that two and a half inch hose, mostly because I had the two and a half inch hose. If I had had a big long four inch, I could have done this entire thing in four inch. Uh, but this is just how I chose to do it with the uh, two and a half inch, two four inch for the fan, and then just reducing it again and, and going back out. And it has it really has great suction. So that's it. Hope that helps some of you that might be uh, trying to decide like, hey. How can I build uh, my own enclosure for this stuff? Uh, the other thing I have, and I've showed this before, but I have another one of the boxes. I took the door off it, and sometimes if I'm doing something big, larger, I will open the other door and just put these two together, and then that way it's still containing uh, all the fumes in there. And that fan's so powerful, it has no problem uh, drawing fumes from both of those spots so that is the uh the vent hood actually i'll turn it on for you so you guys can see too it, it's really quiet so it's a tiny bit of noise i'm, I'm not sure if the uh video is picking that up but it i mean it is not it's not loud at all it's uh it's really quite quiet but it it really has some great draw and uh you can see actually take a look in there see the tag on my uh lens cap being sucked from just that's from the the vacuum in there pulling the air uh out of the shop and just to show you a little bit more about the uh, <clears throat> the uh, plastic case, these shoe cases, um, one nice thing about them that is that they uh, have doors in them. They're a little tricky to put together, uh, and I put a little tape over the uh, opening here because they do have uh, it does open to the air out there uh your now keep in mind also your vent hood it doesn't need to be this perfect vacuum in fact you wouldn't want it to be a vacuum because if it was it would collapse on itself so you do want it to be able to draw in outside air too it just needs to be strong enough that it's drawing everything out um which this fan is definitely doing and it has this nice big door in the front which is really great too so if you're doing stuff that's like the laser pecker size uh, this works really well and i showed earlier i took the door off on uh, another one and if i have something that's sticking all the way out i just put another box right up here against it um, this these uh, boxes from costco they are literally like exactly the size of the laser pecker four so it fits in there you, you do have to finagle it a little bit to get it in and if you look here i have mine sitting on uh, some slate coasters so i raised it up a tiny bit uh, because it was a little bit it's such a tight fit it was um it was a little uneven but just by putting uh, a couple coasters in there it's now perfect and it fits in there and it's been working great uh, and let me just show you the other thing you're going to have to cut. I forgot to mention this. You will have to cut one other hole to run your wires into. If I can see, I got all my connections in there. <clears throat> you do need to use the 90 degree angle ones because it's that tight of a fit. If I had used a uh, straight in connectors, fortunately I have all the, I do have all the 90 degree ones that came with my machine. Um, they fit just perfectly. Uh, but if it was a straight one, because uh, I did out of a longer cord, I can't get that actually in there. Or what I would have had to do is just cut a bigger hole around there to make space for them, which is an option. You could you could do that too.